All right, Chelsea fans, we're going to preview the AC Milan match in the Champions League. Yeah, that's right. We're going to see who trained, and we're going to look ahead at what Pat and Evan has to say about a former striker and why they might haunt us. All right, Chelsea fans, obviously AC Milan is up in the Champions League tomorrow. Big one for Chelsea. Uh, but before we get into that, I just want to plug, we just had CFC Central 3, that's right, Sam on Twitter, who you all probably fall in love. He just did a deep dive with Dan on uh, breaking down exactly how Chelsea can attack AC Milan, how they should set up, uh, a few different takeaways about how Chelsea can exploit Milan. They have a ton of injuries right now, so go check it out. It's on our podcast feed. Uh, anywhere you get podcasts, check it out. London is blue. Uh, you are going to like it. It's the first of, of hopefully many with Sam previewing uh, Chelsea's Champions League opponents. But before we jump into it, I want to essentially thank everyone who have been hanging out with us on YouTube. We added almost 1,000 subs last month. I'm going to continue to bring content uh, almost every single day as best I can, and we hope you're enjoying it. So again, and I just want to say thank you for hanging out with me on the journey. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, it is the AC Milan match preview that we want to talk about. Uh, good news is that the full squad is training ahead of AC Milan. That's right. Uh, that means... Key players are back in contention, available for Graham Potter, uh, should they be needed. So, um, although it was a little bit of a cloudy day at Cabum, as they write, the good news is that Edouard Mendy, Engola Kante, Mark Kukurea, and Carney Chocomeco were the missing quartet for the 2 1 win at Selhurst Park at the weekend. And guess what? All four were involved today. So a little bit of gamesmanship here from the Chelsea media team. They didn't say if they're available. Obviously, Graham Potter's press match. Um, Pre-match press conference will shed some light on that, if he even does. But as you can see here, full stretch from Edouard Mendy. Love the photos from the Chelsea FC website. Uh, Darren, their photographer club there, does such good work. Uh, but Mendy at full stretch, if you if you tell me, he definitely looks like he has the ability to play at 100%. The question is, where is his fitness at? He's been out for, you know, three weeks or so. Uh, the good news is that Engolo Kante, who uh, was back in training, uh, said that he is at, in full training now. Before, he was just doing some pitch work. Now he is in full training, which is super exciting to hear. Uh, and then, obviously, Carney, Chukwameka, uh, and Kukurea, who were both, um, you know, essentially injured before uh, the, or I'm sorry, out with sickness. Looks like they have returned to full health, which is great to see. You always want to to get an idea of, you know, who's at least going to be around, who's available. And that's exactly what we got. All right. As you'd expect, uh, a lot of players are feeling good. They are quite happy to be back in training. Uh, and I think it's just good to kind of see who's involved and, and who's getting uh, some minutes there. So obviously, Chile and Trevo, uh, all smiles as uh, we had we train ahead at home uh, for AC Milan. Uh, Ruben, I think this is crazy prediction. I think he's probably going to start and play in the midfield. Uh, I think that he's going to get a nod to go out there and make uh, make a difference. Mason Mount, who's uh, getting a lot of stick from some Chelsea fans, interestingly enough, uh, seems to be out there in good form. Jurjing and uh, Kulabali, the Naples duo. Uh, Kai, what do we think? We think he's going to get to start again? I know he's coming under a little bit of scrutiny, but uh, he was quite involved in the buildup. It created a lot of shot-created actions, uh, as Epiref puts it. Obviously, chilling Trevo there in the defensive duo. Broya, love to see it. A lot of people hoping he gets some minutes here, so we're going to have to see if uh, he gets on as a sub. Kukurea back in training, coming back from his illness. Uh, is good to see. So I think the last thing I just want to touch on is is pretty obvious here. So uh, former Chelsea legend Pat Nevin, uh, he does a lot of writing for the website. Uh, by the way, he, plug his book. He has an amazing book. We read it. We got to interview him on it. It's a fantastic podcast. So if you want to go back and check it out, highly recommend it. Pat Nevin is one of the most well-spoken professional players, especially Chelsea, that we've ever had the pleasure of talking to. Um, but he says, you know, what Chelsea need against AC Milan and the X player factor. The X player factor is so big for Chelsea. Every single time it seems like in our vast network of low knees or former players that didn't quite break through, they always come back to haunt us. Oh, and here we go again. We have multiple players that are at Ace Milan. Uh, obviously, Fick defensively, Giroud up top. Uh, that could potentially come back and haunt us. And Nevin talks about it, you know, kind of being a real thing. Uh, it's it's hard for us to be in the Premier League and live down the Mohamed Salah and the Kevin De Bruyne effect after you know they were their careers at Chelsea were cut short so early. But I want to scroll down here, and he's kind of talking in reference to the reverse, right, where Connor had his uh, former player curse against Palace, hitting that 
absolutely stunning game winner against his former on loan club, who, again, was the player of the year for, absolutely dominates Crystal Palace. He feels at home there. Uh, the reverse fixture is going to have, obviously, one beautiful Frenchman leading the line for AC Milan and saying that he's probably the biggest problem Chelsea are going to face. He's going to go out there, he's going to create problems, and he's going to be motivated to score against Chelsea. And as Pat says right here, as ever, we will not be fuming with our former striker personally if he scores a goal, particularly if you get more than them by full time. And that's Olivier, right? This is what we loved Giroud for in his time at Chelsea. Uh, it wasn't always just the the Arsenal shenanigans and banter. You know, after he won the FA Cup, essentially saying London is blue. Like he's a Chelsea. He's clearly stamped his London passport as Chelsea blue and not Arsenal red. And you love him for it. Uh, but he's going to be able to, you know, create some issues uh, for Chelsea. And I think that's something that we have to take note of and be aware of uh, heading into the weekend. So I'm excited to see what Graham Potter goes with. Is it the 4 2 2 2 3 4 3? Uh, only only Tom at all about, you know, just over 24 hours from kickoff at this point. Uh, but I'm excited. Crucial, crucial points for Chelsea here. We need a minimum four points, right? We need a minimum of four points. And so uh, from these two legs, so if we can get the three points at home and one on the road, it is good. They have a lot of injuries. Again, go listen to that podcast. Uh, almost an hour of an in-depth preview. And I just want to leave it here, right? Leal, you want to see Leal tomorrow. He is definitively clean connected to Chelsea, right? I, I, we talked about it. You know, there's apparently a pre-contract in Kunku. Don't sleep on the potential of Lao coming in. Our attack could be revolutionized next season with these young, uh, just unbelievable ballers from, uh, you know, Europe and these young up and coming players. So, uh, I just want to plug that in there at the very end, but look, hope you are having a great day. Uh, again, we'll see what the press conference has to say. Uh, Potter's going to shed some more light on who's truly fit, uh, but it's good to see that the entire squad is back training. So again, plug the podcast. Go listen to CFC Central's podcast with Dan. It was fantastic. But I'm out. I got to head to work. Hope you have a great rest of the day. And look, we'll see you tomorrow for pre-match Champions League. I'm actually going to do a Twitter Spaces with Chelsea FC and USA. So if you are on Twitter, go check it out. Should be exciting. Anyways, take care.